Hi guys, in this video we're going to be talking about brake upgrades for the larger BMWs 5, 6 and 7 series with the F chassis. Uh, so 5 series uh, F10 and F11, 6 series uh, F06, F12 and F13, uh, 5 series GT, F06 and 7 series F01, F02, F03 and F04. This is uh, only a budget brake upgrade because we're going to be using uh, the G chassis four piston calipers. Uh, they're made by Brembo and um, they're pretty much direct bolt on to these um, F chassis cars. Here in UK, you can actually buy these calipers for as little as £250, including pads and delivery, in excellent condition. So that is why I say it's a budget upgrade. These calipers are available in three different sizes and multiple finishes. So on the left hand side, uh, you have the small caliper, which is there's a blue version and there's an unfinished version in gray, but it's the same caliper essentially. And in the middle you have the medium version and there's also the large version, which isn't here today. The small calipers are meant for 348 millimeter discs. The medium are meant for 374 millimeter discs and the large are meant for 395 millimeter discs. All the G chassis calipers, the small, the medium and the large, are designed to work with a 36 millimeter thick disc. However, you can use them with smaller thickness discs. So in this case, we could also use them with a 30 millimeter thick discs. The small calipers use a specific pad to the small calipers, and it's not interchangeable with the medium or the large and the medium and the large calipers use a slightly different pad shape that's specific to the medium and the large calipers. So this upgrade can be done using all three different uh, versions of the G chassis calipers, the small, the medium and the large. And this here in front of us, we have uh, the small setup, which I think is the most cost effective because the small calipers tend to be uh, the cheapest to buy second hand and uh, the 348 millimeter discs that need to be used with these calipers um, actually came as standard on a lot of um, the cars that we're talking about um, so 5, 6 and 7 series with the F chassis uh, so if you have discs that are 348 millimeters in decent condition you can pretty much just buy the G chassis caliper and bolt it straight on so if you have decided to go for the uh, small G chassis caliper you will need a 348 millimeter disc these discs came in two different thicknesses, 30mm and 36mm. Ideally you want a 36mm, however you can also use the 30mm. Uh, with a 30mm disc you will need slightly less spacing to get the caliper sit sitting centre with the disc. With a 36mm disc you will need a bit more spacing, so about 5mm with a 36 and about 2.5mm with a 30mm thick disc. Uh, so this here we have uh, an F10 um, front suspension hub. Uh, with uh, an F10 348mm disc by 36mm thick. These particular ones are the, the one-piece ones made by ABS. And here you have the G chassis small caliper, so 348mm caliper. And what we've done to get the caliper sitting perfectly across the disc, used 5mm worth of washer spacers, and we've used standard bolts. So just to show you the fitment, caliper is pretty perfectly uh, seated across the disc and about five millimeters worth of spacing between the caliper and the mounting points with the original bolts. If you don't think that 348 millimeters uh, setup is quite big enough for your car, for your preference, uh, you can use uh, medium calipers and large discs. So if you are using the medium calipers, 374 millimeters, you can buy um, F10 374 millimeter discs that will pretty much bolt straight on and uh, you will need the same amount of spacing for the caliper to get it sitting center across the disc. Uh, the only other thing that you'll have to do uh, for the 374 millimeter setup you will have to trim the pad um, because the contact patch on the 374 mil discs of the F chassis is slightly narrower than the height of the pad so um, you will have to trim about 10 to 15 millimeters of the bottom of the pad uh, just to make sure that the pad isn't hitting um, the hat when the disc is spinning. 
And finally, if you wanted to go for the third method, and the third method is um, using the largest of uh, the three types of G chassis calipers, the 395 millimeter option, you would have to use uh, F10 and 5 discs. F10 and 5 discs are 400 millimeters by 36 millimeters thick, uh, and they have a slightly shallower offset uh, than the uh, non M discs. So what that means is you'll have to use slightly more spacing. So F10 and 5 disc, 395 G chassis caliper, um, about seven millimeters worth of spacing. So about three of these washers. Uh, if you are using about seven millimeters worth, I would recommend using slightly longer hardware in 10.9 grade. Um, so these are 40 mil long. I'd suggest using 45. Uh, mill long bolts you can buy them online with either a captive washer or a flange um, and you would also have to trim the pad because the m5 discs have got quite a uh, narrow contact patch compared to how tall this pad is so just to make sure that the bottom of the pad doesn't hit um, the hat you will have to trim a few millimeters off the bottom of the pad and other than that it should be pretty much a direct fit so thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think uh, or if you need any of the information or anything's unclear please drop me a message, I'll be happy to help, I can provide you the part numbers and general buying advice on the calipers, the discs, the pads and so on and so forth. Um, so give me a shout if you need anything and uh, hopefully see you all again soon, thanks for watching.